So I might just start with a bit of the rationale. Um, so, you know, while the success of anti-PD-1 and PD-1 therapies have overshadowed that of anti-CTLA-4, um, we do understand that if you target CTLA-4 at higher doses, that you might be able to achieve greater survival. And alongside that, we do see that higher doses of anti-CTLA-4 does increase T-cell proliferation and activation, and these are probably the mechanisms that improve survival um, in cancer patients. The problem, though, is that increasing doses of anti-CTLA-4 have not been widely adopted due to a substantial increase in side effects. And so the real challenge in developing treatments that target CTLA-4 is to find a way that is able to deliver greater CTLA-4 blockade and all the associated survival benefits, but without the increase in toxicity. And if you can do that in combination with targeting PD-1, that will probably or hopefully provide greater benefit to our patients. So MEDI5752 is a monovalent bispecific antibody that targets both PD-1 and CTLA-4, and it's designed in a way that enhances CTLA-4 blockade on PD-1-positive activated T cells. So essentially, MEDI5752 allows the preferential inhibition of CTLA-4 on these PD-1-positive activated T cells. Um, in addition to very comparable inhibition of PD-1 compared to kind of standard co-administration of PD-1 and CTLA-4 inhibitors together. So as such, we believe that MEDI5752 is this possible engineering solution that can overcome the toxicity that limits the delivery of higher doses of anti-CTLA-4. So at, uh, anti so at ASCR, we presented prelim preliminary data from the first time in human study of the MEDI5752 